Let's say you don't really want the change type step to come again and again in your queries. What you can do is go over to the file, in the file, options and settings, and then go over to query options. And then under data load, you can turn off the never detect data type column settings and then click on OK, and then you're going to be good to go. In case you would like to copy the query that you have created, what you can do is easily go to the query options right here, right click on the query, click on copy, and then open Power BI, another Power Query window, and then you can easily paste it. Guess what? If you opened up the notepad and just press the control V to paste the queries, you would be able to paste the entire query in just one go. You can expand the tables without the expand button. What you can do is click on the FX right here, and I'd like to expand table, table and the table right here. I'm gonna write the function table.combine, and inside of that, I'm gonna write the table name, which is nothing but the previous step. Then I'm gonna write the name of the column, which is the content column, which contains the three tables. And I'm just going to use the square bracket and write the content column and then close the bracket and press enter. And all the three tables have been expanded and combined together.